I spent 40 years in technology, and then in 2015, I took over as CEO of Sunlink. And I came with the vision that you converge technology with an industry that is somewhat mechanical and where the electrical components are in just the solar panels. And the, and the real objective is to take solar energy, which I totally believe in, to the next step, not get caught uh, at any one point. Everybody can mentally conceptualize that solar is an important element in the future and going to be. But what I think is an industry would, which is keeping us somewhat hindered is the fact that we, we tend to look at it as its own entity as opposed to saying from a utilities perspective, they're providing us a great service today. I mean, in the United States, I mean, who's gone without power for very long? Not too many people. So how do we take and look at the problems that they have in the future to retire the coal-fired plants and the different things, and how do we work with them to make solar integrate in a, a better manner? I think you've seen Sunlink shift significantly in terms of not only our core products, which are mounting and racking systems, but also to providing services, such as geotechnical services, installation services, and operation and maintenance, as well as software. I think what we need to do is make advances beyond what we're doing today. We're satisfied probably with the rate of what we're doing. We think we're growing fast. But from my perspective, and this is just a personal one, when I look at the industry, I think it's moving at a snail's pace. So if we can somehow collectively together, I think we've got to start working to really coalesce that direction, the vector change that we need so that everybody's got their oar in the water and pulling in the same direction. Yeah. Is, uh, and we, we're lacking that framework or that, that vision exactly how we're going to do that and then getting everybody driving to it. I think that for us to move forward, we've got to make advances and act like an industry that, that has a direction and has continually improved the price curve significantly, much more than what we're doing today. And the only way we're going to do that is by the incorporation of technology from beyond just static models that we have today. And that goes back to the Internet of Things. We've got to have our systems collecting real-time data as to the performance, not only electrically but mechanically, so that it can feed the designs to lower the costs. And that's what we're trying to do. Companies like Sunlink are trying to bring technology to extend beyond the realm of the way we look at solar today. And I use the analogy when you have, all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. We try to step back and say, how can we use technology to overcome the mechanical limitations of a system and produce a lower cost, better quality, more maintainable system in solar that integrates more efficiently with the utilities and their efforts to generate. I want to move the whole industry forward and I want to open up the standards to everybody. I want to show the industry how to provide solutions that are of value to the exact people like yourselves that will move the industry forward. I just think that there's three technologies that we have to solve the problems on and software becomes the heart of them all is we've got to solve security for con and control, grid integration, and storage. And unless we solve that as a global thing, uh, we're going to limit ourselves. And our start of that is our Vertex software platform, which I encourage people to look at. And we're providing open interface so that people can uh, develop on top of that to improve it, to move the industry forward. But without those three things uh, being solved, we do basically have a governor on our growth. We'll always have uh, an energy infrastructure or backbone, but the majority of energy will be de developed or produced on a distributed nature. So if you think of the future being energy producers participating in an automated market of high frequency trading of energy, and I believe that all the modalities of energy together have to work together in concert with the utilities to get there, but that's where we will achieve the lowest cost energy, the most efficient, the best for our economy, the best for our world and our children so they have a place to live.